A new $2.2 million federal grant will now help support students enrolled in Montana State University's Caring for Our Own Nursing Program. The majority of those dollars will go directly towards helping students in the program turn their dreams into reality, dreams to enter the medical field and take their skills back home to bring change to their communities. I got to meet some of the students who just learned they'll benefit from that new funding. Seeing it just seems like a great opportunity to make people feel better. This is Cheyenne Whiteman, a sophomore from Crow Agency, currently enrolled in Montana State University's Caring for Our Own program for Native American nurses. She's one of 15 nursing students who will benefit from a four-year nursing workforce diversity grant. Well, I think it's like really special because Native Americans are such a minority and not a lot of people like know what a Native American is like. It's just like, oh, they see the stereotypes on TV, like what an Indian is, the Western TV shows. And to see them doing real things like being nurses, you know, being in different professions is kind of like breaking a stereotype, which I think is super important. It was Cheyenne's grandmother, Rosie Doyle, who inspired her to become a nurse. I live in the country there and it's just growing up, my grandma was a nurse and she was a nurse for so long. We go and everyone's like, oh, I wish your grandma like could still give me shots. And I just saw how special it was to her. The healthcare reservations is kind of rough, like IHS has been through, you know, a lot. And I think it's really important to like get people from a reservation into um, hospitals and clinics on the reservation because no one knows a Native American like another Native American and having culturally, appro culturally appropriate healthcare is super important because then we know what topics are sensitive and just how to serve our people. Cheyenne is just one of 72 students enrolled in the co-op program. The new grant now means almost every one of those students will be able to receive some kind of funding. They tell me they come from areas where not a lot of natives are going to school. Many because they simply can't afford to. Now they say they have a better shot at graduating and inspiring others back home that they can do the same. I think they're going to be proud um, to hear that you know, I know my family is proud. My uh, my grandma especially is very excited for me. Each student explained they had to overcome challenges to make it here, like Danielle Tapaha. She grew up on the Navajo reservation. We have the biggest tribe in the U.S., and my reservation covers four states. The biggest tribe, it's hard for a lot of us to get scholarships, and there's a lot of, like, students. I was so happy. I was just filled with overjoy that I actually can get into this program and that it's being paid for. For me, is just another blessing. Others say simply leaving the reservation is the biggest challenge of all. Um, mostly because a lot of Natives are family-oriented, and I just feel like, they have close families and they don't want to leave each other. Dr. Laura Larson says that's exactly why the Caring for Our Own program's emotional support and the funding it offers are so important. The money is one thing. The program's tight-knit community is another. Keys to making sure these nurses graduate, creating a more diverse workforce to change the face of health care. So that would be in this state that we'd have six to seven percent of our nurses would be American Indian. And right now we're less than one percent of our nurses are American Indian. So that's important that we have providers who understand us and that we trust with our health care. And so what the research shows that outcomes are better if Native American families have care from Native American nurses. About 90 percent of our students from the last 20 years have all gone to practice in rural parts of Montana. They are educated in Montana and they stay in Montana. That's what brings us to Tina Redstar. She's the assistant director of nursing at Crow Hospital. She came to speak to students during orientation as they prepare for classes. It's worth the sacrifice. She says every hand up, every word of encouragement makes a big impact. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it in the end, you know, because I've been there, done that, and Felt like I wasn't going to make it at a, you know, a couple times, but I, I pushed through and, you know, now I'm the assistant director of nursing at the Crow Hospital. So. Proving they can push through is exactly what each student here says they aim to do for a better life for themselves, for better health care for Montana. My great grandmother always told us and told my whole family that like our community will support us. So what you need to do is give back to your community. And that's what I intend to do. Almost every aspiring nurse I spoke with explained a family member in the nursing field helped fuel their dreams to go into health care. Ninety percent of the two point two million dollars goes directly to pay student scholarships. 
for tuition, for fees, books, and supplies. Co-op supports both undergraduate and graduate students with advising and also tutoring. Students say it's a group that's like a family and one of the main reasons they chose MSU. In Bozeman, Holly Brantley, MTN News.